I had to put my coffee down, roll up my sleeves, because this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, I got you guys. I love this. I love it. What's so fun about this? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna geek out. <laughs> Tell me that you guys love this as much as I do. I just. Hi, welcome back to the House of Valentina. Today is a very exciting day because we are talking about how to decorate with the color black. And if you know me at all, <laughs> then you know that my favorite, favorite, favorite color is black. And I absolutely love decorating with black. I cannot wait to chat about the color black, the background of the color black, why we should use it, how we should use it, and really great color combinations. So if that sounds like something that you are as excited about as I am, make sure you go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and give the video a thumbs up. And also, before we jump in, I did wanna give a big thank you to Karma, formerly known as Shop Tagger, who is sponsoring today's video. Karma is an app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. I'll be sharing loads more with you about that later in the video, but for now, if you'd like to, check the link down below in our description box, and let's jump in. I had to put my coffee down, roll up my sleeves, because this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, I got you guys, I love this, I love it. The color black is such an amazing color. And when you think about the color black, I think it's really interesting. I, I, I have an impression of what black means to me. And I think that that's something that's so personal about the way that each of us responds to color, what it means to us. If you look up the color black, you're going to find that it means that it is the complete absence of color or the absorption of all light. So it's obviously the complete opposite of white and there is no colors there. The color black may actually be one of the most may actually be the most controversial color that we're ever going to talk about on this channel. And the reason why is because it's so polarizing the way that people have used the color black historically. We see people using the color black as something that means sophistication and it's it's a little bit of a sign of wealth. When it's not left alone, it can also be a color that balances. So when you think about the color black, what do you think of? I think about sophistication. I think of luxury hotels. I think of luxury brands. I think of beautiful, engraved, personalized, high-end feeling stationery. <laughs> I think of classic. I think of black heels and a black jacket. I I think that the color black is the just the most amazing color because it really is a timeless color. Black never goes out. <laughs> I love the things that have been floating around on Pinterest for years. Black is the new black. Like, black never goes out. It really is timeless. And there's so many ways that we can utilize it when we are creating our homes. It, it just, I think it's really interesting to look at some associations that you have. As we kind of go through the different colors in this new series, to really think about yourself, how you feel about a color, and maybe take a minute to think through whether you have an impression of a color that you want to change, or if you think it through and you're like, no, yep, I'm sticking with what I think of this color. <laughs> I think it's just really good because it'll help you kind of process through what is gonna feel good around you, in your home, and whether you're going to enjoy, like me, I love living in this room. This is my office, this is where I edit videos, it's where I answer my phone calls, it's where I take Zoom calls. I I, practice, I think I actually, if I were to count the days and the hours, I spend more time in here than I do my own bed. I mean, I live in here, and I love this color, and it feels really good to me, because for me, it feels sophisticated, it feels classic, it feels, it feels cozy, and I think that those are all associations that can go with the color, and I think you have to really think through whether those are the associations that you have and kind of process through before moving forward with decorating with it. I wanted to take just a moment and thank today's video sponsor, which is Karma, formerly known as Shop Tagger. They're always expanding their capabilities and their new name represents the good karma they provide by helping you shop smart. In my job, I do a lot of shopping. I do a lot of sourcing. It's called sourcing. <laughs> so today I wanted to show you how I actually use this app. So first of all, 
The reason why I wanted the app in the first place is that right now I am having the biggest issue uh, with my with my business actually. I do a lot of sourcing, AKA shopping on behalf of my clients and I'm trying to find things for them that are going to work in their space. And right now we're having so many shortages on items. And so what happens is that when you have this app and you've decided, let's say that you wanna buy this vase from Pottery Barn, this app, you go in and you download, you download the app and, and the, or the Chrome and or the Chrome extension. And you can put in that you want to favorite this item and you want to know when it goes on sale. You want to know if there's coupons related to it and you want to know they, they have cash back options. They, there's all kinds of stuff that they can do when you decide that this is an item that you want. So that's what will happen is a lot of times it'll go out of stock and I need to know when it came back in or if it's too expensive, maybe it's too expensive for me or one of my clients, knowing that it's gone on sale is a really big deal. So when a vase goes on sale that costs around $100 and it goes 25% off, $25 is a lot of money. But what if you're shopping for a sofa? It can save you thousands of dollars. So that's why I was really interested in this app. The only problem was that I am the least technologically advanced person on the planet. <laughs> so I'm gonna help you out today. I had my husband sitting next to me while we did this and we did a little screen grab because I wanted to show you how easy it is to actually click the link that I've given you down below you just follow the process. It literally tells you exactly what to do to be able to download the Chrome extension. I didn't even know what a Chrome extension was. And it's just simply something that goes at the top of the bar that you can click on when you're on websites and you can save your items. You can decide how you want to put them in different folders and how you want to categorize everything. That's perfect for someone like me who works with several clients at a time, or I'm working on my own house and I have several rooms that I'm working on. I can save everything in there. And then when it goes on sale, they let me know with, by sending me an alert. If you're interested in saving fashion items, home items, you can literally shop for anything online. You could shop for your toothpaste when it goes on sale. Some of my other favorite features are the cash back feature. This is where you can earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. Karma also scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. You can even search for a coupon code while you're at checkout. This feature only works on the desktop, so make sure that you do download the Chrome extension. Definitely check it out down below and I will leave a link for you so it's really easy. That way you can see if it's something that you think is as cool as I do. And now back to the color black. When you think about the color black, you really have to think about your tones and your saturations as well. The color black actually comes in endless, endless options. There's all different versions of the color black. You can have something that's soft and muted. I think of like old Hollywood, Audrey Hepburn. There was this feeling of softness to the color black and there was something that just felt so timeless about it because it was a little bit softer and a little bit muted and almost a little bit grainy. And then you have the opposite end of the spectrum. You have high gloss. It's a really broad spectrum and how you're using the colors, the tones, the sheens, and how you can utilize this color in your home. So as you think through how you wanna feel in your space, it's really important to think through, do I want a matte black oak table or do I want a high gloss black table? Do I want a little bit of an accent of something that's really muted or do I want something that's a high gloss? Like in my home, I've used all different shades. I've used all different colors. In my bathroom, I have high gloss all around the trim and the doors and it's really, really fun. But in this room, I have muted colors that are very matte. So you can play with these things even in your own home. You can have all different shades and tones. You can have really, really saturated. My sunroom is a really good example. That is a very deep saturated black. It's almost as black as black can be. And I really like how you can use that for a high amount of drama. And you can really get a high punch out of a color like that. Whether it's used on your linens or your, let's say your pillows, your accessories, 
the walls. There's all different ways that you can use it. And then you can have a room like this. It has a soft muted palette and it is a completely different feeling. So when you think about how you might layer onto this space, I'm going to have a much softer feel in a room like this than I would say if we're sitting in my sunroom. And even on this channel, you guys have kind of gotten to experience through the different videos, how it feels to be in those spaces. So use that as a tool for yourself to think through which one do you really like? I hope you'll forgive me, but I have to start with my favorite combination, which is black and white. I absolutely love this color combination. Black and white is a play against dark and light. It is a play of contrast. You can really play with the objects. You can play with the tones. You can play with how much black is in a space and how much white is in a space. And you can be very graphic with it. And you can also be really soft and soothing. <laughs> Let's talk about one of my other favorite combinations, which is black and pink. Now, I know that there's so many of you that are like pink, whoa, ooh. Pink comes in an entire spectrum just the way that any other color does. So you can pair black with super bright pink. I think of pink roses. That was the first thing that I paired my black with was pink roses. I loved the contrast of those colors and the way that they just feel sitting together. But I also love super pale blush pink where it's almost so light, it's almost like a creamy beige color. And you can play with all of those spectrums. You could have a pink room with black accents. You could have a black room with pink accents. And you could play with your cushions, your furniture. And there's so many different combinations that you can play with when you're using this color palette. It really can be a lot of fun. You can easily switch out for the seasons and even just whatever flowers are in season can really help you change up your color palette. So don't don't be too limiting on this one. Think through what you really like. You get to play and really have a lot of fun exploring what really jumps out at you and layering those things on. For you, it might just be adding a few accessories and that is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, this is another fun one. Let's talk about black and gold. Black and gold, to me, is a color combination that I always associate with glamour. I think about Great Gatsby, and I think that black and gold is a combination that just, it just feels so chic, it feels so glamorous. But don't feel limited. If you don't think of yourself as a super glamorous person, black and gold does not necessarily have to be super glamorous. That's what's so fun about this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna geek out. <laughs> Tell me that you guys love this as much as I do. I just start to think of all the combinations and my mind starts moving and I get so excited. I'm like, oh, yeah, that too. Oh, it's so great. It's so much fun. You can be so glamorous with the colors black and gold. It can truly be gilded. It can be very glamorous. You can use high gloss, high sheen. But if you think about the other end of the spectrum, you could actually use Again, that's, I always go back to that smoked black oak. It's just one of my favorites. It's so matte and muted and raw and natural. You can pair that with an unlacquered brass that is worn and it just has, it shows its age and patina and it has a completely different look and vibe than the other one. And yet to me, you can still be craving a little bit of glamor, even if you want to have a home that feels like it's either set in a rural setting or if you're in a rural setting and you wanna use this color palette, it applies to everybody. It really does. And I think the exploration of it is a blast. Our final color palette for today is black and green. And I think that that's actually an unexpected color palette because I would not normally take green and sit it right next to black, but if you think about the color tones and the vast variety of colors that you could be using, and when you think about it in terms of plants, that's a total game changer, isn't it? So when you think about your overall home, can you have a green room, a green painted room, or green accessorized room in a home that is mostly black and white? And I think absolutely you can do that. 
When you pair black and green together, you are taking something that is associated with sophistication and you're pairing it with something that is associated with literally with life and with plants and nature. When you put those two together, there is something very magical that happens and they work very, very well together. You can really play with this color green combination. It really does add a lot of life. I, I highly recommend that especially when you are doing a black and white palette that you seriously consider. You need green in the space. Green is what infuses life into that space and really just helps it feel natural. And green makes a space feel more approachable. It makes it feel really alive. It balances the dark. It balances the light. There's something about bringing nature into your home that just makes it feel comfortable. It makes it feel grounded. It makes it feel down to earth. There's just something that feels so right. So even if you are the type that you want to paint your walls green, you can still accent with black. You could still have black walls and accenting with green. And playing with these combinations is, again, it all goes back to you, what you feel re really just speaks to you and creating something around yourself and the way that you want to live in your space. That's where you can really have a lot of fun. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love it when you guys stop by for a chat. It's always such a blast. And I hope that you have found something really helpful in today's video. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and um, make sure you hit subscribe as well because we want, we're want we going to continue this series as long as you guys are enjoying it. We'll keep doing them. So I did promise last time that the color would be green. I tried to include it on this one so I wouldn't have so much guilt. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. I was like, oh, let's talk about black and white, okay? <laughs> um, but if you would like for green to be the next one, maybe we'll do green next. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that. All of the pictures that were shown in today's video are from Pinterest. So look down below. I always leave a link to my Pinterest account so you can always find the photos as well. So thank you again for stopping by. And um, yeah, I'm gonna sip some coffee and uh, we've got some really fun projects that we're working on today. So I'm gonna get back to work and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>